Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work on the problem 36 in chapter 4. In this one, we look at this picture. It tells us we have two cars and then they connected together and then just speeding up. In this one, we need to find the difference of the, these two forces the tension, Ft1 and Ft2. There, I suggest you to draw the force analysis pictures. See, for the car one, we must have gravity and also the normal force, the ground to the car one. And also there must be tension, Ft1, right? And also there is another force by this cable, Ft2. Now we look at car two. For car two, first thing we have gravity. And then the normal force ground to car two, and also we have the tension from this cable, Ft2. Agree? And you can see these two force should equal because it come, the force should be equal everywhere in a cable. If we don't consider the cable's mass, this is from Newton's third law. Do you agree? Yeah. Now we can consider. When we consider this train speeding up or slow down or just keep constant velocity, we just consider the horizontal direction. And then look at the horizontal direction, we can write an equation for car 1, look like that, right? Ft1 minus Ft2 is mass times acceleration. This comes from Newton's second law. And then look at car 2, we find the net force is Ft2 equals mass times acceleration. In this one, we can see Ft2 is m2 times mass times m2 times acceleration. And in this there, it tells us this as the same mass, agree? The same mass, therefore m1 equal to m2. So in this one, we can get the Ft2 is mass times acceleration, and Ft1 is 2 times mass times acceleration. Therefore, the Ft2 and the Ft1 is 2 times Ft2. Do you agree? Yes. Now let's see more details. So in this one, we just list the equations from Newton's second law, and in this one, we get it there. And the, uh, the net force for car 2 just equal to Ft2 and the mass times acceleration. Therefore, we get the uh, final answer. The ratio is just 2. Thank you.